ACI is a collection of switches um, that are controlled by an abstracted control plane known as the APIC. Um, the Application Policy Infrastructure Controller um, is the management point for the, uh, the ACI fabric uh, and that is where the administrator would configure network policy and consume that as a service based on an application centric model um, instead of the traditional network centric uh, model used in most data centres today. Well, the benefits to using ACI um, is moving away from the network centric model um, to the application based model where there's the network effectively becomes a service that you consume uh, similar to compute or storage. Um, it's no longer about switches, um, VLANs, IP addresses. Um, it's now about endpoints, how they're grouped um, and how the policy is applied to those groups. So the benefit to, to customers in utilising ACI is really around um, the security aspect and also it no longer relies on a network engineer defining how the network should look. Uh, an application developer should be able to define how their application uses the network and then the network engineer can translate that into the ACI configuration. ACI provides micro-segmentation um, capabilities and granular policy enforcement uh, capabilities for uh, security policy between individual VMs or VMs grouped or bare metal servers grouped into um, similar uh, categories such as web servers or database servers and a common policy can be applied to those um, based on the services that they are offering. So it does enhance security, it allows more granular control and it also allows for better mobility of those services um, because those VMs can be anywhere on the fabric um, and will be discovered and policy applied based on its current location. ACI has been deployed in Node 4's Wakefield and Northampton data centres. Uh, it has been connected to our core network so that we can um, deliver cloud services through ACI but also integrate those services with our other solutions such as voice, um, co-location um, and, and MPLS connectivity across the WAN um, and along with providing disaster recovery services um, and other backup storage um, services such as uh, Zerto and things like that.